To reserve ordinances, sign in to Family Tree with your LDS account username and password. Use these methods to identify ancestors who may need temple ordinances. Near the top of the screen, look for a red circle by the word temple. It means that someone within your first five generations may need temple ordinances. Click Temple and click Opportunities to see the names. For each individual, click View Person. Below the person's name, click the Ordinances tab to see which ordinances may be needed. Remember, to request ordinances for a person born within the last 110 years, you need to get permission from the person's closest living relatives. On the traditional pedigree, look for a green arrow pointing to a temple. It means someone in the family may need temple ordinances. Click the green arrow temple icon to see which ordinances may be needed. When you reserve ordinances, you will see the request ordinances pop up. Family Tree may have more than one record for a person. These are called possible duplicates. Even though you find a temple icon, the ordinances may have been done and may be recorded on a different record. The request ordinances pop-up will indicate if the system found possible duplicates for the person. If the system found possible duplicates, the temple work may already be completed. Check the possible duplicates and merge the records if they are for the same person. Read the church policies and click the checkbox to indicate that you have read and will comply with the policies. If the person was born in the last 110 years, you need permission from the closest living relative to perform the ordinances. After you've read the policies, click Add to Temple Ordinance List. The requested ordinances now appear in the Temple tab. On a person's detail page, you will see tabs near the top of the screen. Details, Memories, and Ordinances. A green temple icon on the Ordinances tab indicates that ordinances may be needed for this person. Read all of the church policies and click the box to indicate you have read and will correctly comply with the policies. The requested ordinances will now appear on the temple page where your reserved ordinances can be managed. Go back to the temple with the red circle. Look at all of the reserved. This is where the ordinances you have requested are listed. The colors of the ordinance boxes indicate the status of the ordinances. To see what the colors mean, click the legend near the top right of the screen. Click the checkbox next to each name you want to print. Then click Print. Follow the on-screen instructions to print the family ordinance request. Click which ordinances you want to perform and then click Print. Take the family ordinance request to the temple to print ordinance cards. If needed, you can return to the temple all reserve list to reprint a family ordinance request.